Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and we got two big stories for you today regarding the Nintendo Switch, including something really strange Nintendo is doing. I guess it sort of falls in with their MO, but I'm not so sure they really need to be doing it, but we'll talk about it here in a moment. And then another thing is about a brand new game that just landed on Switch. We gotta talk about that as well. Now, before we get into these stories, I gotta remind you, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one lucky viewer. All you have to do is head to the gleam.io link down in the pinned comment or the description, and we will be drawing the winner at the end of this month. Now, Let's get right into that news, beginning with Project Triangle Strategy, or I guess they just ended up calling it Triangle Strategy. It came out today, and yeah, all the reviews have dropped. It's got an 83 on Metacritic, which puts it right around the same as Octopath Traveler. And while it's not an Octopath Traveler sequel, it's obviously taking some inspiration from Fire Emblem and other strategy games, and mix it in with the traditional turn-based RPG-like combat. I'm really excited about this game. I actually finally installed the demo to give it a try to see if I want to pick it up. I did really enjoy Octopath Traveler, so I got a feeling I'll enjoy this one, but the game plays different enough that I'm not quite sure. So thankfully there is a free demo and the save data does transfer over. If you want to pick up this game for yourself after trying out that demo or just because you forgot it came out, hey, we have an affiliate link down in the description for Best Buy. If you use that affiliate link, we get a nice little 14% kickback no pressure or anything, get it at your favorite retailer, get it digitally, but hey, I figured I would mention it. Now, this next story is really the main brux of this video and why we are making it today. Nintendo, mm. naughty, naughty. Nintendo is doing, I guess what Nintendo does. You know, they, they go after fan projects, they go after ROM sites, they go after legitimate things like Gary Bowser and you know his fellow team executor compadres that were involved in not only hacking the Switch, but also creating firmware hacks and all these other things to enable you to pirate games directly on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, and they were profiting off it as well. So yeah, that's obviously really, really bad and it's hard to get mad at Nintendo for stuff like that. But this is the case that I, I don't know why Nintendo's doing this. So the Steam Deck has come out, right? The Steam Deck is Valve's uh, little portable handheld gaming PC. It's actually entering a semi-crowded market when it comes to handheld gaming PCs, except that the Steam Deck actually, well, is affordable relatively. The cheapest model being only $50 more than the Switch OLED. Of course, being affordable and being attainable are two different things. It's a lot easier to get like an Aya Neo than it is to get a Steam Deck, but that's just due to availability. Valve, you know, you need to do better with that. But what's happening, of course, is that Steam Deck is essentially a PC. And well, of course you could do PC things with it, like run a Nintendo Switch emulator and play Switch games. And Nintendo decided videos going up talking about it, showing it, showing off Switch games running on Steam Deck are going to be copyright striked and taken down. They are actually in a, right now in the midst of massively striking a bunch of different channels who attempt to put up Nintendo Switch games running on Steam Deck. Now, obviously, Nintendo has a bit of an extra incentive to focus on the Steam Deck specifically, even though there's videos of this on the INEO. One, because the Steam Deck has a lot of uh, media presence, obviously it's affordability, and hey, it's not a good look to see another handheld that's only $50 more than your flagship handheld play your games better than your handheld does. Higher resolution, higher frame rates, uh, being able to put mods and all that in. So yeah, obviously Nintendo has a bit more gusto to want to take out these videos. Of course, they have every right to do so, I just don't know why. Nintendo doesn't take out people emulating on PC videos. Hey, you see any of those 4K Breath of the Wild videos out there? How do you think they exist? They're emulated on a PC. Nintendo doesn't touch any of those. In fact, they don't touch any of the PC emulation videos. But they're going after Steam Deck despite it just being a handheld PC. See, there's a lot of things that just don't really make sense. But Hey, this is what Nintendo does. The unfortunate reality of this situation is Nintendo doesn't want Steam Deck making Switch look bad. And 
I don't know what Nintendo's really worried about because the Switch is selling phenomenally well even after Steam Deck came out. And of course, Steam Deck's like being scalped right now for like $2,000 plus dollars if you wanna buy it right now, $1,200 bids on eBay because the availability of this system is so, so scarce. Way worse than PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X ever were. Way worse than any shortages with Switch and even the Wii back in 2006. Nothing has been this short. Uh, Valve obviously underestimated demand, didn't make enough of these. And yeah, we can blame chip shortages and all of that, but Valve actually has a long history of really dropping the ball with their hardware releases when they do do hardware, which is pretty rare from Steam boxes to the controllers and now the, the Steam Deck, which by the way, I've watched a bunch of videos on the Steam Deck. It looks really, really good and really, really promising. So I am excited for those people that are able to get their hands on it now. I think if you can't get your hands on it for three or four years as a PC gamer myself, I'm not so sure its relevance is going to matter in three to four years. I know I upgrade my PC every you know four years or so. So by the time I can readily you know get my hands on a Steam Deck, I probably want a Steam Deck 2 at that point. And you might go, but Nate, why not? You only feel that way about Switch? Because PC gaming is just different. You game on PC to get the advantages like a Switch won't have, such as performance metrics and being able to get the high frame rates and all that. And obviously in four years, brand new games coming on a Steam Deck are not gonna be getting those high frame rates. So I would want a new one, whereas on Switch, I just care about the ease of portability and the exclusive games. And boy, do we have a bunch of them coming this year. I got just got just to play that Kirby demo. You guys saw it on live stream yesterday. Did you guys play the Kirby demo? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sold on Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I hope the end of the game lives up to my expectations, which might be a little bit too high just based on prior Kirby games. But anyways, I am so excited. Now, as we wrap up this video and I wanna get your thoughts on what Nintendo is doing, taking out these videos, do you agree, do you disagree? I wanna give a big shout out to my lovely fiance, future wife, Yulia Kadutsa. And you see this awesome sign back here? Yeah, she surprised me and got that for me uh, to christen in the new studio. And fun fact, studio tour is happening tomorrow. Already got a bunch of footage recorded for it. Studio technically isn't finished. There's a couple things coming in, mostly for decoration slash sound proofing. Uh, but the gist of the studio is here. You guys have already seen it if you saw the live stream yesterday. Now we get some close ups. You get to see the new and improved battle station and how I'm handling live streams now. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And I can't wait to show you everything because this has been a, a work of passion to get here. And let me know, what do you guys think of this set in general? Obviously we got the nice little table here. Uh, if I ever need to present anything, we have this uh, wall back here. I actually you know, wanted it to be really simplistic. So a sign, the wall, that's it. I don't feel like putting other gaming stuff up here or like trying to etch things into here. And, and honestly, I, I really wanted this very simplistic presentation set. And I think this does the trick. So you guys let me know what you think. Did I do a good job? If not, how would you improve my sets moving forward? I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. And I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video. Nintendo Prime, out. Oh, wait. Sorry, Zach. Um, um, I, I, ha, what?